I'll try not to drink out of your water. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. The doors are closing and I'm supposed to start by saying howdy. Howdy. Good morning and thank you for surviving the storm to get here to recognize these outstanding individuals. Uh, my name is Damon Slayton. I serve as the Vice President of Human Resources and Organizational Effectiveness and it's my pleasure to be here today and welcome you. I'm honored to welcome you to the Texas A&M University's annual President's Meritorious Service Award Ceremony and it's my pleasure to introduce the 2022 recipients to you. Joining me on stage are President Banks, Miranda Henderson, Director of Advocacy and Legislative Affairs at the Association of Former Students, and Cindy Billington, Chair of the University Staff Council. This year will mark the 35th anniversary of this program where we recognize 25 outstanding individual staff, two supervisors, as well as two exceptional teams. I want to take a moment and welcome the families and friends of our honorees. We are happy to have you here and celebrate with us. Thank you for being here. I would also like to take this special opportunity to recognize the recipients of the 2020 and 2021 President's Meritorious Service Awards. This program was delivered virtually for some reason over the past two years, and we want to be sure and give applause for the previous honorees for this prestigious award. I'm sure they're joining online, just old habit, right? <laughs> the President's Mer Meritorious Service Award Program is sponsored by the Office of the President with the generous support of the Association of Former Students. The Association of Former Students is the anchor of the Aggie Network, one of the most renowned alumni networks in the entire world. The association is committed to serving Texas A&M's former and current students, and they are also committed to serving our faculty and our staff. Today's ceremony is just one of the many examples of that commitment. Many thanks to the Association of Former Students for their continued support of this fantastic program. Now I would like to invite Cindy Billington to say a few words. Cindy? Good morning, everyone. Beautiful day. <laughs> My name is Cindy Billington, and I have the privilege of serving Texas A&M as the University Staff Council Chair this year. The passion behind USC is to support the development and celebration of the staff of Texas A&M. As a matter of fact, the USC, we have a table outside our doors today. If any of you are a member of the staff of A&M or interested in what we do and the advocacy we do for our staff, please step by. As a matter of fact, we're having a fundraiser this evening at Raising Canes that will help us fund our staff emergency fund. That has proven to be extremely valuable during our economic times that we've been through these past few years. As a former student of A&M, a longtime member of the A&M staff, most of which has been in my home, Mays Business School, and as a past recipient of this board myself, I congratulate you. I congratulate you for this amazing honor I promise this is a day you and your family and your colleagues will never forget. Esteemed colleagues, you represent much more than your titles and years of work experience. You represent leadership, loyalty, respect, excellence, integrity, and most definitely selfless service. You've proven your commitment to the Aggie Corps values and we thank you for each example that you've provided. Never take for granted the impact you make on the lives and the memories of our students, faculty, staff, and many others. I see a few of you honorees today who've made a huge impact on my life and career. Thank you. 
You transform not only our university, but the lives you touch every day. You are continuing the Aggie legacy of excellence. To the guests in the audience today, I want to share a few examples where these honorees have made impactful contributions. Note that this is just a sample. Diversity and inclusion efforts by challenging and elevating A&M's commitment to IDEA. Inclusion, diversity, equity, and access. Integral roles these past few years as we transitioned to 100% virtual education and work models, to hybrid models, and back again. Endless selfless service partnership hours during our time this year through our path forward as we change our university and move us towards preeminence. Commitment to student success initiatives in the classroom, future aspirations, and even mental health and wellness. The list goes on and on. I look at these colleagues and I'm humbled. I'm inspired. Thank you for the investment you've made. You are valued and much appreciated. I congratulate you once again. Thank you, Cindy. You can return to your seat now. <laughs> now it is my pleasure to invite the president of the Texas A&M University, Dr. Katherine Banks. Howdy. Howdy. So happy to be here with you here today. First, I'd like to thank the Association of Former Students and the Division of Human Resources for their support of this event. I'd also like to thank all of you for your important contributions to our university. Over the past 10 months, I've received input from you and many other, your colleagues, about the necessary steps to improve Texas A&M. Each voice and perspective matters to me. All have been carefully considered in my decisions about how we move this university forward. From these engagements, it's clear how much you all love Texas A&M. There's no other university in the nation with such a clear commitment to core values and tradition. We must continue to embrace our land-grant mission of providing opportunity to those who are willing to do the work. As our world is changing, our students are changing also. We must adapt to changes while not forgetting who we are as one unified body. This can't be accomplished by a single leader or a team. It requires all of us to influence positive change. I recognize that people are our most valuable resource. Texas A&M is a university it is today because of the quality of people that we attract and retain. And so we're here today to showcase these outstanding members of the Texas A&M family. I'm pleased to recognize our honorees of the Presidential Meritorious Service Award. Each has demonstrated commendable service to our university and dedicated values of core values. You are the reason that we're one of the top universities in the country. I'd like to thank you all for your contributions to Texas A&M, and I look forward to working with all of you in the future. Thank you, President Banks. We're certainly fortunate to have you here and, and representing our staff. The 2022 nomination period was held in January, and over 95 nominations were received for all three categories, including individual, supervisor, and team awards. An anonymous committee comprised of staff across the campus had the exciting and challenging task of selecting the recipients. We owe many thanks to the steadfast committee for their time and their service. And as you can probably imagine, it was not an easy job. So let's give them a hand. <laughs> this year's individual and supervisor category winners will receive a commemorative plaque, lapel pin, and cash. Each of the winning team members receives a certificate, lapel pin, and cash. Commemorative plaques will also be presented for display in their respective home departments. 
Texas A&M is supported by thousands of highly skilled members, oh, I'm sorry, highly skilled staff members, uh, and we thank all of you for those uh, continued efforts. Those we celebrate today have distinguished themselves in many ways above and beyond, and in those ways they have won the admiration of their peers, students, customers, and their supervisors. These nominations contain heartfelt stories, positive comments, and numerous examples of their commitment to Texas A&M, our students, faculty, staff, and students. Words like mentor, volunteer, leader, supporter stood out frequently, as well as patterns of creativity, collaboration, and heights of professionalism. I'm going to welcome each recipient to the stage and read just a few sentences from their nomination. But please know that there is much more to these recipients and their dedicated service than the brief comments made here. Although the weather is conducive to us just reading on and on and on, right? <laughs> but we better get back to work, I'm sure, yeah. So now I'm going to invite President Banks and Ms. Henderson to please come forward to assist with the award presentations. I will call each recipient in alphabetical order. Our first individual award winner is, everyone ready? Agatha Alonso. Agatha is an executive assistant one in the dean's office in the College of Pharmacy. She supports the vice dean with administrative functions and management of the office. She is quick to volunteer to help other departments and teams within the college whenever the need arises. She can be depended upon to anticipate the needs of those she assists and is always approachable with a can-do attitude. Congratulations, Agatha. Jamie Arexi. <laughs> Jamie is a communications coordinator with the Memorial Student Center. He develops a strategic communication plan and leads the comms area in the development and production of digital and print marketing materials. While Jamie is exceptional in his role, it is his work as a mentor, friend, and ally that has impressed many colleagues and supervisors. He shows up for more than just a job. He shows up for the people. Congratulations, Jamie. <laughs> Heather Fountain. <laughs> Heather serves as an associate director in scholarships and financial aid. She leads the processing team for financial aid operations. Heather is a strategic thinker and promotes innovation and creativity. She is self-aware and prioritizes projects for her team. There are hundreds of moving parts in processing financial aid for 50,000 plus students, which represents 72% of A&M students who are on financial assistance. Heather makes it all look really easy. Congratulations, Heather. <laughs> Tricia Givalentz Cisneros. Tricia is the Assistant Director of Admissions at the Rio Grande Valley Prospective Student Center. Tricia embodies the Aggie core values. She goes above and beyond for students and families and welcomes them to our Aggie family. Tricia understands that being an Aggie is incredibly special and comes with great responsibility. She constantly motivates her team to go above and beyond and assures them that they are all future leaders. Congratulations, Tricia. Gene Hawkins. I'm sorry, Grant Hawkins. Grant Hawkins. I knew a Gene Hawkins, but I knew him from baseball, so Grant Hawkins is even more qualified. Grant Hawkins, as creative manager in the Bush School of Government and Public Service, Grant is one of the hardest working members of the staff, arriving early, staying late, and contributing to projects within and out of the boundaries of his job description. Grant is deeply involved in communities on and off campus, working hard while rarely taking credit. After just two years, Grant has become a known and respected leader. Congratulations, Grant. Grant, it is. Not him. Okay. Yvette Hester. Woo! Yvette serves as an associate director for the Academic Success Center 
assessing operations of the Texas Success Initiative Program. She is committed to the success of every student who is admitted to Texas A&M. Yvette supports her direct reports by creating a collaborative work climate and environment, always being available to answer questions and bringing fresh new approaches to programs. She's a hands-on leader who gives generously of her time. Congratulations, Yvette. <laughs> Elizabeth Hinton. Elizabeth is a veterinary technician for with a veterinary medical teaching hospital. She cultivates a culture where ideas and opinions are shared and given the respectful consideration they deserve. She is often sought out to provide guidance, oversight, or comfort. Elizabeth will drop anything she is working on for her team when they are in need. She puts the needs of the patients, the hospital, and her teams above all else. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Glenn Huff. Glenn serves as a Master Utilities Maintenance Technician with Utilities and Energy Services. Glenn works in a cooperative and collaborative manner, utilizing the strengths of other personnel. He is the go-to guy when it comes to procedure questions and proper use of tools and equipment. Glenn consistently recommends new methods to conduct tasks safely and effectively, ensuring the highest quality of service to Texas A&M. Congratulations, Glenn. Deborah Jackson. <laughs> Deborah is a senior career services coordinator in the Career Center. She demonstrates loyalty through her 23 plus years uh, to this Career Center. She takes time with years of service. I'm sorry, she takes time with the recent graduates. She advises to offer them prosper career guidance and connect them with the true power of the Aggie Network. Deborah has a great sense of pride in being an Aggie and helping former students with their career needs. Congratulations, Deborah. Ed Janusik. Ed is a facilities coordinator three for the Interdisciplinary Life Sciences Building. When a problem arises that requires attention, Ed is first to arrive, coordinating the repair and working with the affected employees. He has a knack for diffusing difficult situations and making sure everyone walks away feeling heard and respected. Ed says that when you love your job as much as he does, it doesn't feel like work at all, which captures his relentless positive attitude. Congratulations, Ed. Melissa Kuhlman. <laughs> Melissa serves as an administrative coordinator too in the Department of Educational Administration and Human Resources Department. She takes initiative to assess what is needed and then does the research to make it happen. Melissa, Melissa constantly gives herself the greater good without regard to personal gain or recognition. She is a loyal servant leader dedicated to Texas A&M University, the college, and the pre-K through 12 program. Congratulations, Melissa. <laughs> Dennis Lacaz. <laughs> Dennis is a program manager in the College of Medicine's Office of Graduate Studies. He models a leadership style focused on the growth and well-being of those around him. He listens and strives to provide the tools and training for others to be their best. Dennis is a proud Aggie who works to ensure that the professional and graduate assistants, as well as prospective students, feel a part of the larger Aggie community. Congratulations, Dennis. God bless you. Travis McCartney. <laughs> Travis is an administrative coordinator one in the Department of Chemistry. He interacts with many staff, faculty, and the undergraduate and graduate students daily. The degree of respect that he uses with each of the groups that he serves is evident in the way he patiently teaches or helps people. Travis's selfless service is beneficial to his colleagues and the students, but more importantly, is a true reflection of his loyalty to Texas A&M University. 
Congratulations, Travis. Chris Morley. Chris is the program director of the Business Honors Program at the Mays Business School. She not only learns the name of every student in the program, but she also knows their story. Chris notices details and takes ownership of her responsibilities. She creates and models a culture of service and commitment, and it has affected the people she works for and the students she assists in a way that inspires everyone. Congratulations, Chris. Linda Newman. Linda serves as an executive assistant too in the division of operations. There's always a high level of trust when working with Linda. She strives for preciseness and a no mess ups personal standard with the different entities she works with, primarily the Board of Regents, Faculty Senate, and the Texas A&M system offices. The excellence of Linda's work results in great working relationships with these offices and staff. Congratulations, Linda. Chandler Nichols. Chandler is a library specialist three in the medical sciences library. Chandler handles the day-to-day -day processes of get it for me requests, ensuring that faculty and students have access to materials needed to do their research or their assignments. Her work is one of great quality and attention to detail. Chandler has taken the lead on several projects and exceeded expectations by showing her capability to manage and coordinate difficult and complex tasks. Congratulations, Chandler. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Kelly Pampel. <laughs> Kelly is a business administrator three for the Department of Finance. She has a tremendous impact through inventing and helping improve many processes. She is smart, thinks things through, and is on top of everything. I'm just reading it. I mean, <laughs> should I not say it? Others think she's smart. Okay. Thinks things through and is on top of everything. She does. Kelly works hard to establish staff goals, provide coaching, and communicate expectations. Even during the most challenging times, Kelly never gives up her employees and believes all can benefit from her guidance. Congratulations, Kelly. <laughs> and we know you're smart. Shauna Ramos. Shauna is a business administrator one in the College of Architecture business office. Her service and loyalty simply cannot be questioned. She is typically one of the first in the office each morning and the last to leave. She routinely works until the job is done and then some. Shauna is hardworking, dedicated, and always has the best interests of the college, the office, and the university in mind when making business decisions. Congratulations, Shauna. Good work. Jennifer Ryan Smith Carranza. <laughs> Jennifer is a senior academic advisor with the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. She is an extraordinary advocate for students and always goes the extra mile to get to know students personally, understand their capabilities and their interests, and then work tirelessly to guide them through the curriculum with academic counseling and life advice. She remains deeply invested in all of her students' lives and constantly challenges them to broaden and grow. Congratulations, Jennifer. <laughs> Patty Robinson. <laughs> Patty serves as a program coordinator, too, in the Office of Student Affairs in the School of Public Health. She shows incredible care and attention in every prospective student interaction, ensures that she shares the unique attributes of this university. Patty accomplishes her job with excellence in her work ethic and attention to detail. As the number of applicants continue to increase, she continues to rise to the challenge. Job well done, Patty. <laughs> Sam Shields.
Sam serves as an instructional consultant for the Center for Teaching Excellence. She assists faculty and graduate students with strategies to promote excellence in teaching and enhance the level of learning for each student. Sam's willingness to help translate directly to improving inclusivity and student success. Her work is truly an example of how one's person's, I'm sorry, let me start over, because this is important. Her work is truly an example of how one's leadership and selfless service can have a campus-wide impact. Congratulations, Sam. <laughs> Susan Tatum. <laughs> Susan is an athletic, I'm sorry, assistant athletic director in the athletics compliance office. She goes above and beyond to assist staff, coaches, and student athletes on all matters dealing with rules and ethics, and that includes being available to provide answers on nights, weekends, and holidays. Every aspect of her job requires her to work with the highest level of integrity, and in doing that, she exudes excellence, loyalty, and selfless service. Congratulations, Susan. <laughs> Dr. Leitha. Vasubhadevan. <laughs> Leitha serves as Assistant Director and Radiological Safety Officer with Environmental Health and Safety. She is responsible for guidance of the university's radiological safety program on main campus and various remote sites. Leitha demonstrates excellence in her job performance in her relationship with her staff members, in the service she provides to researchers, and in the work she does on behalf of her profession as a volunteer. Congratulations, Leitha. <laughs> Dr. Linda Wendell. Linda serves as the Associate Program Director of Undergraduate Advising in the Mays Business School. She ensures precision in all that she does while maintaining a positive attitude and professional demeanor. Linda is a go-to resource for many gladly sharing best practices and innovative solutions with colleagues and peers. When curriculum issues or student concerns arise, she handles these with a smile and service-oriented approach. Congratulations, Linda. Thank you. Job well done. <laughs> Mandy Zacco. Mandy is a veterinary technician four with the Department of Veterinary Physiology and Pharmacology. She is an integral part of undergraduate and professional courses. Successes in classes and labs are a direct result of her preparation and energy. Mandy consistently displays all of these personal qualities most highly prized in profession is honesty, integrity, intelligence, genuine concern for others, self-reliance, high personal standards, and maturity of judgment. Congratulations, Mandy. Yeah, you deserve it, right? Okay, let's give a round of applause for all of our recipients. There's more. So now let's move on to our two supervisory award winners. Kelly Essler. <laughs> Kelly is the Director of Academic Advising in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. She leads, motivates, and cares for a team of advisors in a newly centralized environment. She promotes an open-door customer service atmosphere in which staff can come to her with anything. Beyond supporting her staff, Kelly also demonstrates selfless service and loyalty to our student body. She does all of this with a positive attitude that is contagious to all around her. Congratulations, Kelly. Dr. Shannon Walton. <laughs> Shannon is an assistant dean in the Graduate and Professional School, serving as the Director of Recruiting, Professional Development, and Student Success. She is admired by her staff, peers, and coworkers, many of whom are inspired to do their best by the example she sets and the expectations she places on them. 
Shannon leads the support efforts for thousands of students, including hundreds of underrepresented minority students to strengthen their success in graduate school and beyond. Congratulations, Shannon. Now on to the teams. First, we will call each team member individually, and then once everyone has received their certificates, we will bring the team together on stage for a group uh, photo. The first award is presented to the Center on Disability and Development team. This team is made up of nine individuals who have combined total of over 75 years of service to, to Texas A&M. Together, the projects and strategies of the center advance policies and practice which improve the health, education, and social economic well-being of people with developmental and other disabilities, as well as their families and communities in support of independence, productivity, and satisfying quality of life. Beyond just providing respect for the individuals with disabilities, this team also has a high regard and respect for each other. Our first team member is Tanya Baker. Tanya is a communication specialist, too, with 15 years of service to Texas A&M. Congratulations, Tanya. Leticia Crockett Tunnell. Leticia is a program coordinator one, and she has one and a half years of service. Congratulations, Leticia. Amy Day. Amy is a program coordinator, too, with 21 years of service. Congratulations, Amy. Jessica Dees. Jessica is a program manager with over seven years of service. Congratulations. Tracy Glass. Tracy is a program coordinator too and has seven years of service with Texas A&M. Congratulations, Tracy. Megan Orsag. <laughs> Megan is an associate research scientist with over seven years of service. Congratulations, Megan. <laughs> Vanessa Richard. <laughs> Vanessa is a program coordinator too and has over three years of service. Congratulations, Vanessa. Dr. Eric Roberts. Eric is an associate research scientist with seven years of service. Congratulations, Eric. Jacqueline Turner. Jacqueline is a research specialist, too, with 10 years of service at Texas A&M. Let's congratulate the entire Center on Disability and Development team, and please return to the stage for a picture. Congratulations. 
my heart sinks when I read this next line. It says, our second team award is presented to the English language proficiency team. I'm sorry for butchering this whole thing. English is not my second language. It's basically my first language. So um, our second team award is presented to the English language proficiency team. The Center for Teaching Excellence's English Language Proficiency Program is a linguistic resource provided to Texas A&M international instructors and prospective instructors who wish to improve their spoken English skills. Taking a multifaceted approach to language proficiency, programs designed by ELP staff have the reputation of being comprehensive and effective. Participants love the feeling of family and care they perceive while engaging in this program. The English, English, I can't even say that. The English language proficiency team consists of two full-time staff and several student employees. We recognize the two staff members today, starting with Dr. Brandon Cooper. Brandon is an assistant director with over eight years of service to Texas A&M. Congratulations, Brandon. Janessa Payne. <laughs> Janessa is an instructional consultant with over 10 years of service. Congratulations, <laughs> Janessa. <laughs> Too many awards. Yeah. You're too good. So please join me in one more round of applause to recognize all of these incredible staff members and their contribution to the universities. I also want to take an opportunity to thank the families and friends of today's honorees. Would you mind standing? All families and friends, please stand. We know that without your support and sacrifice, these folks wouldn't be the amazing individuals they are today. We applaud for you, for your encouragement, your patience, your love, and buying them lunch and dinner and breakfast as often as you possibly can. In closing, and on behalf of the Office of the President and Texas A&M University, we thank the Association of Former Students once again for the generous support of this program. I want to express my gratitude again to all the staff across our campuses and for the services they provide to make an impact and help transform our university. Thank you for who you are and for all that you do. Please join us at the reception uh, next door and have a wonderful day. Be safe. Come back and see us again next year. Find more families and friends that you can support, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for being here.